Sa ilang sandali po ay magsisimula na tayo ng banal na misa. Panahimik na po tayo upang ihanda ang ating kalooban sa pagkipagtagpo kay Kristo. Magsindi po tayo ng dalawang kandila, iayos na po natin ang krus, at kumanap na po tayo ng mga upuan upang makapagdiwang tayo ng misa saan man kayo nararoon. Kapag panahon po ng pagtayo, sana po ito mayo. Kapag sandali po ng pag-upo o pagluhod, sana po ilumuhod at saka umupo at makiisa po tayo. Kung papaanong nasa loob tayo ng simbahan, buong-buo ang ating ginagawa, buong-buo ang ating diwa, buong-buo ang ating pakikinig, ganun din po sa bahay. Wala pong pagkakaiba sapagkat ang Diyos na ating sinasamba kahit sa live streaming na ito ay iisa at nakikita ng Diyos ang ating sakripisyo saan man tayo nararoon. Panahibig na po tayo, ihanda na natin ang ating sarili sa pakikipagtagpo kay Jesus. and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. The Lord said, as he entered the world, Behold, I come to do your will, O God. My dear brothers and sisters, today is a very special feast, the Annunciation to the Virgin Mary. It is the feast of the Incarnation of God. And today, we remember the Word was made flesh and He dwells among us. God is with us. God will always be with us and He will never leave us. This is the time to renew our faith in the presence of the Lord who walks among His people. I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have, have greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what, in what I have done, done and in what I have failed to do, through, through my fault, through my, my fault, through my, my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, pray for me to the Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, heal our land, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on, and on earth, earth peace, peace to people, people of, of goodwill. goodwill. We, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you. We, we glorify you. We give, we give you thanks, thanks for your, your great glory. glory. Lord, Lord God, God, heavenly King, O God, God Almighty Father, Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only, begotten only begotten Son, Son Lamb Lord of, God, Lamb of God, Son, Son of, the of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone, you alone are the, are the Lord, Lord. You, you alone, alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who will that your word should take on the reality of human flesh in the womb of the Virgin Mary, grant, we pray, that we who confess our Redeemer to be God and man, may merit to become partakers even in his divine nature, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, saying, 
Ask for a sign from the Lord your God. Let it be deep as the nether world or high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not ask, I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, Listen, O house of David, is it not enough for you to weary people? Must you also weary, my God? Therefore, the Lord himself will give you this sign. The virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Sacrifice or oblation you wished not, but ears open to obedience you gave me. Holocausts or sin offerings you sought not. Then I said, I behold, behold, I come. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. In the written scroll it is prescribed for me, to do your will, O my God, is my delight, and your law is within my heart. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. I announced your justice in the vast assembly. I did not restrain my lips, as you, O Lord, know. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Your justice I kept not hid within my heart. Your faithfulness and your salvation I have spoken of. I have made no secret of your kindness and your truth in the vast assembly. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, it is impossible that the blood of bulls and goats take away sins. For this reason, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me. In holocausts and sin offerings, you took no delight. Then I said, As is written of me in the scroll, Behold, I come to do your will, O God. First he says, Sacrifices and offerings, Holocausts and sin offerings, you neither desired nor delighted in. These are offered according to the law. Then he says, Behold, I come to do your will. He takes away the first to establish the second. By this will, we have been consecrated through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Word of God became flesh and made His dwelling among us, and we saw His glory. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said, and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, 
for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is a sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Ang kapistahan po ng Annunciation ay napakahalaga sa ating kwento bilang Kristiyano. Sapagkat ang Annunciation ay simula. Simula ng mabuting balita. At ano ang mabuting balita? Dinadasal po natin ito sa Angelus. The Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Mahalaga ito para sa ating panahon sapagkat ang panahong ito ay nag-uudyok sa atin para tanungin Nasaan ang Diyos? Bakit mahalaga ang simula? Una, ang simula ay nagbibigay sa atin ng ugat. At sa ugat, makikita natin kung sino talaga tayo. Anong itinuturo ng Annunciation? Na ang Diyos at ang tao ay naging isa. Anong tinuturo nito na tayo bilang tao ay hindi lamang taong may katawan, tayo ay katawan at kaluluwa. Tayo ay espiritu at katawan. Tayo ay nakikita, subalit mayroong bahagi ng ating pagkataong hindi nakikita. I am a body, I am also a soul. Ang misteryo ng Annunciation ay nagsasabi sa atin na ang Diyos ay nagkatawang tao. Sa sinapupunan ng Birhen, hindi lamang isang sanggol na tao, kundi sanggol na tao at Diyos. Diyos at tao. Iyon ang simula. Ang simula ay nagbibigay din sa atin ng gabay sa pamumuhay. Nagbibigay ng ugat kung sino tayo. Nagbibigay ng gabay sa pamumuhay. Na bago ang buhay ng mahal na birhen dahil sa Annunciation. Na bago sapagkat pinasok ng Diyos ang kanyang puso. Na bago sapagkat pinapasok niya ang Diyos sa kanyang kalooban. Sa pangkaraniwang takbo ng buhay, ang anak sumusunod sa magulang. Sumalit sa naging takbo ng mahal na birhen, yung ina sumusunod sa kanyang anak. Ang unang alagad ni Yesus ay ang mahal na birhen. Sapagkat bago pa man ipinaglihi ng birhen, si Yesus sa kanyang sinapupunan ay pinaglihi na si Yesus sa kanyang kalooban. Una, 
ang simula ay nagbibigay sa atin ng ugat kung sino talaga tayo. Pangalawa, ang simula ay nagbibigay sa atin ng gabay paano mabuhay. Subalit sa huli, ang simula ay nagbibigay din sa atin ng pakpak. Kapag mayroong sinimulan, mayroong magwawakas. At lahat ng may simula ay may wakas, maliban lamang sa Diyos, sapagkat Siya ang simula at ang wakas ng lahat. At ano ang naging wakas ng kwento ng mahal na birhen? Nagsimula ang kanyang kwento sa pagbati ng anghel, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. At paano nagtapos ang kanyang kwento? sa pamamagitan ng kanyang maluwalhating pagakyat sa langit, kaluluwa at katawan. We started with the Annunciation and it leads us to the Assumption. They are two sides of the same story. At ang Assumption ay hindi katapusan ng kwento ni Maria, kundi bagong yugto ng kwento ni Maria na simulan noong siya ay batiin ng anghel. Tingnan po natin ang tatlong ito. Una, ang Annunciation ay nagbibigay sa atin ng simula, ugat tungkol sa sino tayo. Pangalawa, ang Annunciation ay nagbibigay sa atin ng simula upang gabayan ng ating pamumuhay. At pangatlo, ang Annunciation ay nagbibigay sa atin kung paano tayo magwawakas. Full of grace, assumed into heaven. A woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and a crown of twelve stars. Ilapat natin ang aral ng Annunciation sa nangyayari sa ating panahon. Una, ang Annunciation ay ugat. Ugat kung sino talaga tayo. Sino talaga tayo? Tayo ay kaluluwa at katawan. Ano talaga ang mundo? Ang mundo ay hindi lamang para sa tao. Naglalakad ang Diyos kasama ng tao. At sa simula't simula, alam natin na ang tao at ang Diyos ay iisa. Sa tindi ng ating pinagdadaanan ngayon, tinatanong natin, God, where are you? Siguro, mas mahalagang tanong ay, Man, woman, where are you? Sapagat ang Diyos ay hindi gumagalaw sa kanyang pagmamahal sa atin. At kung sa ating pinagdadaanan ay hindi na natin makita kung nasa saan ang Diyos, hindi siguro dahil umalis ang Diyos o iniwanan tayo, kundi dahil iniwanan natin ang Diyos. Pinaghiwalay natin ang katawan at kaluluwa. Inihiwalay natin ang pananampalataya sa ating buhay. Inihiwalay natin ang Diyos sa ating pinag-aaralan. Inihiwalay natin ang Diyos sa ating pamumuhay. Yung coronavirus, katulad ng Annunciation, ay nagpapaalala sa atin. Hindi pwedeng paghiwalayin ang Diyos at ang tao. Hindi pwedeng paghiwalayin ang kaluluwa at katawan. Hindi pwedeng paghiwalayin ang ating kalooban at ang palabas na nakikita ng mata. They are twins. They go together. And if we separate from God, we condemn ourselves to our destruction. Pangalawa, ang annunciation ay turo kung paano tayo mabuhay. Paano nabuhay ang mahal na birhen? Nabuhay siyang masunurin sa kalooban ng Diyos. Ano ang ating buhay? Ang ating buhay ay puno ng pagpapala. At kapag pinagpapala tayo ng Diyos, meron tayong bulong na naririnig. Kaya ka pinagpapala kasi mahal kita. Kaya ka may pagkain. Kaya may ilog. Kaya malinis ang hangin. Kasi mahal kita. Kaya ka may kaibigan. Kaya ka may 
mahal sa buhay kasi mahal kita. Sumalit sa pagbulong ng Diyos, di natin pinapansin sapagat ang tingin natin sa mga maliliit na blessing na ito ay reward na pinaghirapan ko. At kung hindi tayo nakikinig sa Diyos sa kanyang bulong sa mga maliliit na pagpapala, nagsasalita ang Diyos sa pamamagitan ng ating konsyensya at sinasabi sa atin, mali yan. At sinasabi sa atin, ito ang gawin mo. At sinasabi sa atin, kasalanan yan. Makakasira yan sa iyo, makakamatay yan sa iyo. Subalit, konsyensyang nagsasalita, hindi pa rin natin pinapakinggan. Sabi ni C.S. Lewis, Pains are God's megaphones to make us understand that we must listen to Him. Kung nagbingi-bingihan tayo nung tayo ay maunlad at pinagpala at malusog at pinigil natin ang tinig ng konsyensya na nagsasabing huwag kang papatay, huwag kang magnanakaw, huwag kang magsisinungaling. Konsyensya natin ay nagsasalita, ayaw pa rin nating pakinggan. Maybe the pain, the sickness, the threat of death will jolt us, will shake us, and remember that God is still speaking to us, human beings. Ang coronavirus at ang mahal na birhen parehong nag-aanyaya sa atin. Huwag tayong humiwalay sa Diyos. At nag-aanyaya sa atin, huwag nating hintayin ang kirot karamdaman at kamatayan para pakinggan ng Diyos. Kapag sa ginhawa, kapag sa pag-unlad, kapag sa magandang buhay, patuloy tayong nag-aalala sa kagandahang loob ng Diyos. Hindi na natin kakailangan ang pain, hindi na natin kakailanganin ang banta ng epidemya sapagkat palagi tayong nakikinig sa Kanya. Pangatlo, the annunciation leads to the assumption. Ang ibig sabihin po, kung papaano tayo nagsimula, yon ay nagbibigay sa atin kung papaano ang ating wakas. Anong itinuturo sa atin ngayon? Totoo ang kamatayan. At ang kamatayan ay biyaya ng awa ng Diyos. Sapagkat pumasok na sa isip natin na ang kamatayan ay solusyon sa problema na ginawa ng tao para sa kanyang sarili. No, my dear brothers and sisters, death is a gift of God's mercy. It is God visiting us at the moment of death and saying to us, Enough. You have suffered enough in this valley of death. I will take you home where there is only love, no more pain, no more sickness, no more threats, no more wars, no more violence. Ang death ay biyaya ng Diyos tanda ng kanyang awa sa ating paghihirap. Huwag nating gamitin ang kamatayan bilang solusyon sa ating problema. Ang kamatayan ay hindi sagot sa ating kriminalidad. Ang kamatayan ay dapat nagaling sa Diyos, hindi ginagawa ng tao sa kanyang kapwa-tao. What does the Annunciation teach us? What does coronavirus teach us? That pain is real. Nakaimbento na tayo ng napakaraming anesthesia, napakaraming gamot para tayo maging manhid. Subalit hindi lamang tayo naging manhid sa sakit, sa kirot. 
naging manhid na rin tayo sa isa't isa. At ano ang lunas kapag tayo ay naging manhid na sa isa't isa? Diyos. To love again like Jesus. To serve again like Jesus. To worship the Lord, God our Father, with Jesus. Pain is real. At hindi natin kailangang alisin ang kirot sa ating buhay. Sapagat ang kirot, ang pain, ay tanda na tayo ay nabubuhay pa. At sana, yung kirot na dinaranas natin ngayon ay maging daan upang maging mas palasakit, maging mas mapagmalasakit, maging mapas, mag, mapaglingkod sa kapwa-tao sapagkat kapag nawala na ang pain at naging manhid na tayo, hindi na nga tayo masasaktan pero hindi na rin tayo magmamahal. My dear brothers and sisters, the Annunciation tells us who we are. The Annunciation teaches us how to live in obedience and faith. The Annunciation opens for us the glorious death, the glorious transition from earth into heaven. Panginoon, buksan po ninyo ang aming kaluluwa, buksan ang aming puso at isip, Tinuturo sa amin ng coronavirus na hindi namin maaaring ihiwalay ang aming sarili sa inyo. Tinuturo sa amin na dapat kaming makinig sa aming konsyensya. Na dapat kaming magpasalamat sa mga liliit na biyayang tinatanggap namin. Sa mga pagkakataong kami naging bulag, at naging manhid at tinakasa ng mga problema ng mundong ito sa pamamagitan ng pagpatay at kamatayan. Panginoon, ibalik po ninyo kami sa tunay na landas. Lord, in your incarnation, teach us who we really are, body and soul. In your incarnation, Teach us how to live like Mary, with humility and obedience. And in your incarnation, may we look at death as your gift of mercy. May we look at pain as our invitation for compassion. Lord, you are with us. Stay with us. Never allow us. to be separated from you. Never again, Lord. I believe in one God, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker, maker of, of heaven, heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. And I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ the only begotten Son, Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through Him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and, and by the Holy Spirit, Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin, the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. 
I believe, I believe in one, one holy, Catholic, Catholic and Apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness, for the forgiveness of, sins. of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Through the faithful obedience of the Blessed Virgin Mary, God takes human flesh and lives among us. The mystery of the Incarnation calls us to our loving Father through the Incarnate Son. And let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may be seen as the incarnation of the working body of Jesus Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That people of goodwill may learn that Christ has united himself with every person in taking our human nature. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That scientists and technologists may work with noble ideals to further human dignity and happiness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That pregnant mothers may welcome the new life as Mary welcomed her son. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who have died may be forgiven of their sins. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father of the Incarnate Word, we bring our intentions before you, the fabric of our daily lives made holy by your Son. We lift up to you those who care for the sick, the doctors and nurses, and healthcare workers. We lift up to you those who are suffering. We lift up to you those who have died because of this pandemic. Lord, stay with us. We know you are with us. Show your face to us, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread that we offer you, which earth has given you, and hence have made it will become for us our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine that we offer you, Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Pray, brethren, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept a sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, Almighty God, to accept your church's offering so that she who is aware that her beginnings lie in the incarnation of your only begotten Son may rejoice to celebrate his mysteries on this solemnity who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ your Son, our Lord. For the Virgin Mary heard with faith that the Christ was to be born 
among men and for men's sake. By the overshadowing power of the Holy Spirit, lovingly she bore him in her immaculate womb that the promise that the children of Israel might come about and the hope of nations be accomplished beyond all telling. Through the same Christ, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord God of God hosts, host, heaven, heaven and earth are full, full of your of glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. The highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather the people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, may the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said a blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said a blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim, by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elects, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope, Socrates our Bishop, Fidelis his assistant Bishop, 
the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Tayong lahat ay galing sa Diyos, at ang Diyos ay palagi nating kasama. Tayong lahat ay namumuhay, hindi lamang tayo sa sarili natin, Naglalakad ang Diyos kasama natin. At sa pagwawakas ng lahat, Diyos lamang ang mananatili. Sa simula, sa ating buhay, hanggang sa wakas, Diyos ay kasama natin. Kasama si Jesus, let us pray to the Father. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, thy kingdom, thy kingdom come, come, thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is as in heaven. Is in heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, Word made flesh, Son of God and Son of Mary, who said to your apostles in the upper room, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Sandali po natin yukong ating ulo. Alalahanin natin ang lahat ng naghihingalo, lahat ng natatakot dahil sa kanilang karamdaman. Alalahanin natin ang mga nag-aalaga sa kanila. Alalahanin na rin natin ang mga nagwawalang bahala. Alalahanin natin ang mga mahal sa buhay na hindi natin makasama. Mga nais pagkumunyon na hindi makapagkumunyon. Wherever they are right now, may they share in the peace that we are receiving from the Lord. Let us console one another with the peace of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. O Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. For by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death gave life to the world. Free me by this your most holy body and back from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me always faithful to your commandments, never let me be parted from you. Jesus Christ, I bless you, Christ. This is the Word made flesh, Son of God and Son of Mary, God who lives and walks among His people. 
Blessed are those invited to the feast of the Lamb. Lord, I am, I am not, not worthy that, that you should argument, enter under my roof, but only, but say, only the say the word, and, and my soul, soul shall be healed. Be healed. Behold, a virgin will conceive and bear a son, and his name will be called Emmanuel. Horatio Imperata, God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has claimed lives and has affected many. We pray for your grace for the people tasked with studying the nature and cause of this virus and its disease, and of steaming the tide of its transmission. Guide the hands and minds of medical experts, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion, and of those governments and private agencies that must find cure and solution to this pandemic. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Grant us the grace to work for the good of all and to help those in need. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Croc, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. St. Pedro Calunsod, pray for us. Let us pray. Confirm in our minds the mysteries of the true faith, we pray, O Lord, so that confessing that he who was conceived of the Virgin Mary is true God and true man, we may, through the saving power of his resurrection, marry to attain eternal joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Rise up, O Lord, and help us, and deliver us for your name's sake. We have 
We have heard, O God, with our own ears the things which our fathers told us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Rise up, O Lord, and help us, and deliver us for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God the Father in heaven, have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us. Saint Michael, pray for us. Saint Gabriel, pray for us. Saint Raphael, pray for us. All holy angels and archangels, pray for us. All holy orders of blessed spirits, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. All holy patriarchs and prophets, Pray for us, Saint Peter. Pray for us, Saint Paul. Pray for us, Saint Andrew. Pray for us, Saint James. Pray for us, Saint John. Pray for us, Saint Thomas. Pray for us, Saint James. Pray for us, Saint Philip. Pray for us, Saint Bartholomew. Pray for us, Saint Simon. Pray for us, Saint Matthew. Pray for us, Saint Thaddeus. Pray for us, Saint Matthias. Pray for us, Saint Barnabas. Pray for us, Saint Luke. Pray for us, Saint Mark. Pray for us, all holy apostles and evangelists. Pray for us, all holy disciples of the Lord. Pray for us, all holy innocents. Pray for us, Saint Stephen. Pray for us, Saint Lawrence. Pray for us, Saint Vincent. Pray for us, Saints Fabian and Sebastian. Pray for us, Saints John and Paul. Pray for us, Saints Cosmas and Damian. Pray for us, Saints Gervase and Protase. Pray for us, all holy martyrs. Pray for us, Saint Sylvester. Pray for us, Saint Gregory. Pray for us, Saint Ambrose. Pray for us, Saint Augustine. Pray for us, Saint Jerome. Pray for us, Saint Martin. Pray for us, Saint Nicholas. Pray for us, all holy bishops and confessors. Pray for us, all holy doctors. Pray for us, Saint Anthony. Pray for us, Saint Benedict. Pray for us, Saint Bernard. Pray for us, Saint Dominic. Pray for us, Saint Francis. Pray for us, all holy priests and Levites. Pray for us, all holy monks and hermits. Pray for us, Saint Mary Magdalene. Pray for us, Saint Agatha. Pray for us, Saint Lucy. Pray for us, Saint Agnes. Pray for us, Saint Cecilia. Pray for us, Saint Catherine. Pray for us, Saint Anastasia. Pray for us, all holy virgins and widows. Pray for us, all holy saints of God. Pray for us. Be merciful. Spare us, O Lord. Be merciful. Graciously hear us, O Lord, from all evil. Deliver us, O Lord, from all sin. Deliver us, O Lord, from your wrath. Deliver us, O Lord, from sudden and unprovided death. Deliver us, O Lord, from the snares of the devil. Deliver us, O Lord, from anger, hatred, and all ill will. Deliver us, O Lord, from all lewdness. Deliver us, O Lord, from lightning and tempest. Deliver us, O Lord, from the source of earthquake. Deliver us, O Lord, from plague, famine, and war. Deliver us, O Lord, from everlasting death. Deliver us, O Lord, by the mystery of your holy incarnation. Deliver us, O Lord, by your coming. Deliver us, O Lord, by your birth. Deliver us, O Lord, by your whole baptism and holy fasting. Deliver us, O Lord, by your cross and passion. 
Deliver us, O Lord. By your death and burial. Deliver us, O Lord. By your holy resurrection. Deliver us, O Lord. By your wondrous ascension. Deliver us, O Lord. By the coming of the Holy Spirit, the Advocate. Deliver us, O Lord. On the day of judgment. Deliver us, O Lord. We sinners. We beg you to hear us. That you spare us. We beg you to hear us. That you pardon us. We beg you to hear us. That you bring us to true penance. We beg you to hear us. That you govern and preserve your holy church. We beg you to hear us. That you preserve our Father and all ranks in the church in holy religion. We beg you to hear us. That you humble the enemies of, of holy church. We beg you to hear us. That you give peace and true concord to all Christian rulers. We beg you to hear us. That you give peace and unity to the whole Christian world. We beg you to hear us. That you restore to the unity of the church all who have strayed from the truth and lead all unbelievers to the light of the gospel. We beg you to hear us. That you confirm and preserve us in your holy service. We beg you to hear us. That you lift up our minds to heavenly desires. We beg you to hear us. That you grant everlasting blessings to all our benefactors. We beg you to hear us. That you deliver our souls and the souls of our brethren, relatives, and benefactors from everlasting damnation. We beg you to hear us. That you give and preserve the fruits of the earth. We beg you to hear us. That you grant eternal rest to all the faithful departed. We beg you to hear us. That you deliver us from the scourge of pestilence. We beg you to hear us. That you graciously hear us, Son of God. We beg you to hear us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but, but deliver us. us from evil. Deal not with us, Lord, as our sins deserve, nor take vengeance on us for our transgressions. Help us, O God, our Savior, and deliver us, O Lord, for your name's sake. Lord, do not keep in mind our former sins. Let us soon know your compassion, for we are exceedingly poor. Saint Sebastian, pray for us, that we may be worthy of Christ's promise. Lord, heed my prayer, and let my cry be heard by you. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Let us pray. Hear, O God, our Savior, and by the prayers of glorious Mary, Mother of God, and the Virgin of St. Sebastian, your holy martyr, and of all the saints, deliver your people from your wrath, and in your bounty lead, let them feel certain of your mercy. Lord, mercifully heed our supplications, and heal our infirmities of body and soul, so that knowing your forgiveness, we may ever rejoice in your blessing. We beg you, Lord, to hear our sincere pleas and graciously to avert this plague which afflicts us, so that mortal hearts may acknowledge that such scourges come from your wrath and cease only when you are moved to pity through Christ our Lord. Amen. We drive you from us whoever you may be, unclean spirits, spirits of death, infirmity, despair, confusion, disunity, anxiety, fear, anger, hatred, lust, sloth, 
and pride. All satanic powers, all infernal invaders, all wicked legions, assemblies and sects, in the name and by the power of our Lord Jesus Christ, may you be snatched away and driven from the church of God and from the souls made to the image and likeness of God and redeemed by the precious blood of the Divine Lamb. Vade Satana! Vade Satana! Vade Satana! Laya Satanas! Laya Satanas! Laya Satanas! Go away, Satan! Go away, Satan! Go away, Satan! Vade Satana! Laya Satanas! Go away, Satan! The Lord is healing our land. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.